Hey there! Welcome back to Novigrad, a place that we haven't been back to in a very long time. Since we're in the neighborhood anyway, I figured we could change all of our florins and orins into crowns first. How can I be of service? And still never pay back my debt. <laughs> Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How much are we gonna get? Whoa! Nearly 6,000 crowns! Oh my god, how much do we have in total now? 98k pretty much. Dang, at this rate, 100k before we end off here is really not such a dream. Hmm, before we end off here, you know what? How can I be of service? Let's pay back our debt. Wanna pay back my loan? Splendid! I see you as even more credit worthy than before. <laughs> Thank you! Till next time. Yeah, I bet you thought that would never happen. But we're ending off Watch our journey it. here now, right? Let's I don't want to end it off with any hard feelings with anybody, so... There you go, Vimy. There's your loan. Thank you for lending me 100 crowns 20,000 years ago. Okay. So we're back in Novigrad and Velen today because we have three miscellaneous quests we haven't done yet. Across all of our time, we just somehow never came across these very discreet locations. And I guess that really just goes to show how big this freaking map is. I've marked the first place here. It's by the Tredegor Gate. But actually, it's within the sewers. The sewers in Novigrad. That in itself is not a place I've visited that often. So I think this one is probably, normally, already a pretty hard to find quest. I think it's the door here. I don't think I've ever even been here before. Like, I didn't even know that door was there. <laughs> but if we keep going down the ladder here, I think it leads directly into the sewers. Here we go. And if we keep going this way... If you look here, there is this wall that's breakable, and I guess you would have found this out if you looked at the mini-map, because there's like this one room that happens to be here for no reason. But there's no door. Oh? Oh, wow. This damn lid won't budge! Gah! Whoever put it on the sarcophagus was clearly thinking about grave robbers. Uh, you've no idea who I am, have you? None. Professor Vermont John, Oxenfurt University, Faculty of Applied Archaeology. As a certain ancient map would have it, there's a priceless elven tome in this sarcophagus, the Darar Manuscript. It could shed entirely new light on the NL and Shay conflict. So, will you help? Why not? I <laughs> no, I'm sick of elves. All right, let's open <laughs> it. Are you gonna pay me for this? It's hard work, manual labor. Blood of glowing. Vampire. Whoa! Probably regenerates here. <sighs> Just five more minutes. <laughs> Is it thirteen fifty-eight yet? No. <laughs> then. Fuck off! <laughs> uh, I'm ever running into things like that. Well, come on, open it again. Why? See an elven manuscript there? Because I sure as hell didn't. I hadn't the chance to look. Perhaps he enjoys bedtime reading and keeps it under his pillow. Do you really want to piss off an ancient vampire? How on topic, though. Even though we're not in Beauclair, we're still looking at vampires again. I feel like this is a bad idea. But will it make me open it anyway? We should let him rest. But it's better this way. Trust me. Come now, don't make me beg. I must speak to the vampire. Oh, I think we have to do this. Are you sure your elven manuscript isn't around here somewhere close by, but not within the sarcophagus? Because I feel like waking a vampire, one that we already know is kind of angry. It's not something we want to do. <laughs> Come now, don't make me beg. I must speak to the vampire. <sighs> okay, if you say so. 
I hope you're paying me for this. Let's open it. If all goes well, I shall start on the prolegomena today. The jewels on those primates from the history faculty will drop to the ground. What the... Again? Do you fucking plan to come knocking once an hour now? <laughs> Enough! Oh, God. Oh! Uh, that stench. A cat again! Of course that guy would go cowering in the corner as soon as this happens. Oh dear. Slashing me like crazy. Oh! <laughs> the pillar broke. I'm actually gonna die here. Oh! Shouldn't have disturbed him. Yeah. Shame you didn't leave me to talk to him. He might have known something about the manuscript. Didn't seem all that willing to chat. You may be right. Oh well, thanks. Farewell. What? You're just gonna leave me now? You do well not to pester folk. What? Wow, I help you out with all this and that's how you repay me? Dang. That was kind of sad. That vampire did nothing wrong. His biggest crime was that he's cranky, because somebody woke him up from a thousand years slumber, that's all. Alright, well that's the first of the three. The second one on my list here is... A place near Oriton. First of all, where is Oriton here? <laughs> here. I think there's roughly a quest somewhere in... I want to say this area. This quest here, if I marked the spot right, it should be right on the main road. Which is kind of silly, because if it's on the main road, why did I never come across this? Wolves will tear it to pieces. Gotta help. Oh! What's it tearing to pieces? Oh, there's a small dog here. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Friendly dog. Hey. What are you doing? Oh. Dog's tame. A pet. Wonder what it's doing here. Hmm. Got a key, so dear color. I think it wants me to follow. Hmm, dogs are usually so loyal. It's not a good sign that it's not with its owner right now. And also, it's got a health bar, so we gotta watch out for him. Where do you want to bring me? I'm guessing we never found this because I have a really big tendency to cut across places and just ignore the main road entirely. <laughs> Usually it's okay, but for these more random miscellaneous quests, it becomes really easy to miss. Where do you want to go, little doggy? We're still on the path of the main road right now, so maybe he's trying to take me to the house that we can see in the distance there? Or not? Oh, people. Drudge. <gasps> We've never been here before. What? Oh! What? Oh my god. There's an entire little village that I've never been at before? Bandits. Something bad happened inside. Best go in and see. Oh, frick, man. Oh, I thought the place was on fire, but it's just generally broken down. Which is, I mean, it's not great, but 
It's a step up. You all right? Looks uninhabited. Oh my god. Oh. There's a hatchet in her back. Is that your owner? Something under the floorboards. Maybe they're loose. Or I could just wedge one up. Diary of a Fire Swallower. Draws us the Hermit's Notes. For years and years, I succeeded in living a quiet life, far from the stink and cry of the big city. When I entered this voluntary exile, I left the whole world behind and hoped it would do the same to me. Yet lately, I have noticed someone observing me. Times are unsettled. War turns men into wild beasts. I suspect it is not a friendly neighbor keeping an eye on me. Barilka, the only companion in my solitude, stands by the door at night and barks. What has happened to Alexis, Hector, Gizmo, Dex? Hunger drives men to do the worst. Perhaps bandits now prowl the area? Fools. They know I have nothing. Tomorrow, I will attempt to explain everything to them. Oh, but these bandits, they don't care. If you don't have anything, they'll just kill you. What about the doggy? Hmm. Dog's gone. What? Oh. Does that mean the dog was never there? Or did it just run away? Actually, that would kind of make sense too, because maybe it's some sort of apparition trying to lead me to the truth here. Just so the dog can rest, knowing that somebody knows what happened to its master. But now that the task is completed, it disappears. Yeah, because normally, if the owner, if this person had a dog, they wouldn't run away to not defend its owner, right? So, hmm, maybe that's what happened. It's really sad, though. And somehow, we've never been here before. That part is pretty crazy, too. Be warned! Some backstabbing cowards have deserted Crow's Perch and now prowl these lands in small bands of a few yellow-bellied cutthroats each. Travelers passing through, keep on your guard. Oh my god, Crow's Perch. Feels like 20,000 years ago. Drudge. This once peaceful fisherman's settlement now stands almost completely empty. Road-weary travelers sometimes find shelter in its abandoned huts. Besides that, not a soul is to be seen. Mmm, I guess of all the little places, we just never really had a reason to go here and I missed it. Okay. Well. That is the second one, and the third one, I believe, is... It's somewhere near Oxenford. Also a similar kind of thing going on, where there's a little house that I just never managed to visit. Um, I think it's... Is it this house right here? Oi, oi, my good man. Would you help me? Here we go. What's the matter? Woodland spook done took me mare the other night, and there I were, so content the war had spared her. A woodland spook? Aye. As my forefathers told it, comes at midnight, sprinkles blood on your threshold so as none'll wake, and then it steals. Uh, would you search out my mare for me? Chat with the wood dweller, perchance he'll give her back. Are you paying me for this? Horses disappear around here often? Nay, yeah, sir. Not many horses at all these days. Soldiers took all that didn't die. But me neighbor had a steed. Then two nights passed. Whoosh! Spook took him. Times passed. To a maybe a cow getting milked at night or a hen nipped here or there. But now. Uh... Interesting. Is it maybe like a lesson? That's the first thing I would think of if you tell me about woodland spooks. How much will you give me if I find your horse? Give ye a fifth of vodka. <laughs> sound all right? It'd sound fine if you changed that fifth to five, then added jugs at the end. 
then offered me the equivalent in crowns. Well, fine. Have it your way. Just bring her back. She's a grey mare, mind you. None too large. Even spooks leave tracks. Let me look around, see if I can find some. Are we really gonna do this? This guy doesn't sound like he has money. <laughs> He's kind of like, okay, whatever, I'll give you the money, just do it. Hmm. Drops of blood. Had my doubts. A horse getting injured? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, your house seems normal enough. Maybe there's no hens inside here. But I will take your food because I just can't be sure. Are you really gonna pay me for this? I'll take all your alcohol. Thanks. Home. Another horse quest. One drop of blood. Hoof prints. Went this way. But no more drops of blood. Should I be riding on Roach for this? So far, just hoof prints. I don't see other prints here. The horse went off on its own? Oh. Uh-oh, we kind of lost the tracks a little bit across the river here. Hold on. Here we go. Still just hoof prints. I don't think that's related, but I don't want to run into them, if possible. Where did you go, little horse? You're going pretty far. Oh. What the heck? <gasps> Skoya Tell! No closer. Nothing here for you, Vatgern. I forgot you were a thing. Need that many horses? Your light brigade planning to charge straight into Radovid's camp? We need them to transport the wounded. Uh-huh. Local peasants must have charged you a bundle for them. If we could afford to purchase horses, we would not be starving. Oh, okay, so I can choose to let these people have the horses or bring one of them back to the owner. Yeah, mm, okay, I see where you're coming from, but you're taking the horse from somebody who needs it too. Because you took this horse, maybe that person's gonna end up starving. I can give you money, assistance if you want. Just give me the horse, please. If I do this, I'm probably gonna end up having to kill them. Gotta take one of the horses back to its owner. You sound certain, but should you be? What now? Will you kill what remains of our unit for one old nag? No, why don't you just give me the horse? <laughs> I don't want to kill you, I just think you'll make me want to kill you. Hmm. Hmm, I don't think it's like justice if we pay for the horse, but I'll see it as assistance for you. How about that? No, I'll pay you for the horse. Don't care about the rest. Hmm, this horse. Why is it so important to you? Just trying to keep my word. Made a deal with its owner, that's all. If so, take it. But I don't wish to see you here again. Neither do I. Hey! I don't like you, Witcher. I gave you guys a hundred crowns. Wow, better take off that attitude. Nobody wants you here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm watching you. The guy said it was a gray mare, right? Oh, this is tricky because they don't actually show you which one it is. I think it's this one. Slow now. I'll kill you for that. Their attitude almost makes me regret giving them the freaking money. But you know what? We'll just pretend we did a good deed today and call it a day. All those other horses were probably there for similar reasons, though. Like they stole the horse from somebody else. So it's like, well, we're leading one back here, but 
like five other people out there are missing their horses too. Oh, see you make quick work of it. But there's only so much justice we can dispense by ourselves, I guess. What say you, sir? This your mare? Aye, I'd recognize her anywhere. Come on, Jumper, you've got some explaining to do. Where'd you wander off to, anyway? And here's yours, sir, as agreed. Thanks. So long. Am I in the negatives here? In terms of money? What? <laughs> oh, 20 crowns. So I paid 80 crowns to do this quest. <laughs> well, again, let's just view it as charity. We still got 97k here, so whatever, fine. Okay, and that's actually gonna be the last thing around here, I think. Wow, just look at this place. Can you imagine? We've been to every single location here? Really? 97 signposts. And probably we're still missing a few here and there. Yeah, in fact, I think if we keep wandering down... I think I saw on the map that there was a fast travel marker here. So, you know, just for completionist's sake, maybe we can get that. Roach, come on. Hold on. Here we go. Crossroads. And now it's 98. A small crossroads in the woods. <laughs> well, that's descriptive. But, like I said, this should be the last of all the miscellaneous quests that I can do here, that people have told me about. So hopefully that covers everything, and we will be heading back to Beauclair, the Duchy of Tucson, in the south, where we have a few question marks, and then we can head off to meet Damien at the mill. Let's start off with Moncron Castle. Here, 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 and then... Here, here, here. I know it's a lot in a row, but apparently we're not gonna get a chance to do this later on, so we gotta do it now. Oh, I think I know what we're here for today. Tawny Owl. Draconid Oil. Yeah. Oh, God. Slizzard. Not something we see that commonly around here, actually. Which I feel like is a bit of a shame. Both Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine add a bunch of new monsters, but... It doesn't really feel like a lot of them get a big chance to do much. Like for example, back in Hearts of Stone, they added the wild boars, but I don't remember ever seeing them in a quest or anything. Hmm. Now what were you guarding here? Orders on a torn parchment. Pavel! Take that cat and boy and get him drunk tonight. And I mean slobbering, incoherent, blubbering about how he loves you all and spewing all over his boots drunk. He's just a little turd, so it shouldn't take much. Once he's seeing pink unicorns, tie him up and stuff him full of deadly nightshade and sulfur. Just like you'd stuff a goose before Zalvine. They say dragons love virgins, so perhaps one of those winged snakes flying above the Sham de Soleil will come pick this cherry. And since you will have seasoned it nicely beforehand, the reptile will gobble it up and keel over. Just be careful when you're putting out the reptile supper. I've lost enough men already. Philibert. Nah, I don't think he was that careful about it. Oh, this poor kid. Actually, he seems pretty old. <laughs> Judging by the beard and all, but dang. Doesn't seem like this lizard got a snack on him, though. He's still complete, at the minimum. Slizzard remains. Greater Glyph of Igni. Red Mutagen. Okay. And the next thing we got here is a little bit to the south. It's a little bit dark right now, but the sun is rising, so we should be okay soon. It's actually kind of cool right now because we can see the sun rising on those Twin Peaks. Oh, what's here? 
Oh no. It's my favorite enemies. Oh, is it okay for me to art these guys? Hold on. Oh god. If I kill someone right now, my Aaron died. My Aaron died is at level 10. The counter is at 10. Oh! Oh god, the explosion! It took everything away. Oh! Ooh. Nope. No, thank you. That one didn't explode. I wonder why. <laughs> Can you all just fall down already? Oh god. Explode! Come on, buddy. I know you want to die. Oh! God, we hadn't dealt with these guys for so long. I forgot they existed. And I wish we could have kept it that way because I don't like these guys at all. Ballista diagrams. Oh, what is this? Some kind of spy intelligence info? It does seem like there's some camps here. Rock fiend blood. Splotchy parchment. To Jacques Le Rouge, what the bleeding bum diddles are you still doing there? Think I sent you out on a scenic holiday? Yesterday, those winged dung munchers grabbed Gilbert straight off the walls while he was taking his after supper wee. How many more men am I gonna lose through your incompetence, you cabbage brain cretin? You were supposed to build a ballista, as per the instructions I gave you, and kill those flying lizards. If you don't finish your job in the next two days, I'm going to stuff you full of sulfur and toss you to the monsters for a snack. Perhaps that way, you'll at least somewhat contribute to solving the problem. No regards, Philibert. <laughs> He's so passive aggressive. Ah, so it seems like that's lizard. Or multiple slizzards? They've been an ongoing problem in this area here. And Philip at Four Fingers was trying to solve it. I thought he sent that boy to death because he hated the boy. But no, it's because he wants to get rid of the slizzard. And now this camp is completely empty. Even though we found the ballista diagrams, there's no ballista around here. I guess they just never got around to... making it? Hello? Oh, that's a wild boar. Oh, I killed a deer! Oh my god. Well, that's nature for you. Okay. Now we're heading to the west here. Chances are, this one might be related to Philibur too. This was his turf after all. Moncron Castle. I think that's where we fought him. Another guarded treasure. But who's guarding it? Oh, what the heck? It's like... underneath? It's gotta be related to you guys. Uh, that stench. Al ghouls! The other ones are kinda spread too far to notice me. Unless if you wanna come fight me now? Oh god! I wonder how my Arendite is doing right now. I really want to get more points increased for it, but we're not getting to that point where it takes 10 hits for us to kill something. Oh, dang it, and I got hit just now, too. Did I get any damage increase at all over the past little bit? 24! Oh, but the maximum is 40 now. Dang. Oh, well.
Now what was here? A little storage area. Grease stained notes. The slimmest pickings yet. Haven't even seen a stray mutt on the road for a week. Since that last caravan we robbed, the one carrying a transport of fatback for workers at the quarry, we've had nothing. Zero. Zip. Luckily, we ate our fill after that, gained a slight punch to hold us through hard times. But if those times last much longer, we'll have eaten more supplies here than we've looted. And everybody thinks being a bandit's nothing but wine, wenches, and merrymaking. Should've listened to Mama and finished school. Or at least started it. <laughs> Tomorrow, we head back to Mon Cron. We'll have to look around for a new spot. The lads are getting bed sores from so much lying around on their bums. Hmm. Although on the outside, when we first killed Philobird, it seemed like they were doing so extravagantly because they had the nice castle and all. Actually, they were being plagued by slizzards, they're running out of supplies, and overall just not doing too well. Okay, and that is it for the three question marks in this area here. Three more. Three final ones. Oh my god. This one seems like it's at a little house. Vineyard infestation. Arcuspores or what? Oh no, my favorite. Whoa, I actually don't ever remember seeing you guys in broad daylight before. What now, piece of filth? It's kind of weird looking at you guys like this. Hey, but you guys increasing my toxicity is actually good for me right now because of... Because of euphoria. Kick you more breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. Ew. Nasty. Oh, this poor guy. He died on his chair somehow. What happened to him? Ugh. Well, at least we solved that problem. Frankly, I'm surprised that wasn't part of the wine war stuff, because that totally seems like it should be. This one's in the forest. There's a little house here, too. Duntine Castle! That's probably somewhere we're gonna end up visiting really shortly. Yeah, in fact, that's where we're trying to go for the next quest, right? It's just that we're starting off by meeting Damien at the mill first. That's all. Workers! What were you guys doing? There was a whole infestation across there and nobody took care of it? Awful tired for some reason. <laughs> and the lady tells me she's tired. Is it true? Peasants got carve his cows himself If nowadays. they just take to work, is they take to dance and drink? Big vineyard here. Whose is it? Little peacock again. Marcescent forest. There is a monster down here. Oh, it's Kiki Moors, isn't it? Yeah. Well, thankfully, you gave me Euphoria earlier, which is making this really easy for me. I can't see. Now I can. What's here? Nothing. It's just kind of little for some reason. Ooh. No. No mercy for Kiki Moors. Get out of here, please. Oh, wow. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. My toxicity is really dang high right now, though. Kicking more breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. Oh, do I have to white honey this? That kind of sucks too, because I do want some toxicity. Are we gonna be okay? Written oath. 
I, Aubin Rodier, my crest, the Skylark, do hereby solemnly vow. The foul beasts which invest the caves in the Marcessan woods shall by my hand be smitten to the death. This task shall I complete or fall a corpse myself. This I swear on my honor. I shall not flee the field of battle, shall not use any trickery or foul play, and shall fight worthily with my visor raised. I solidify my vow with this present document, submitted in the presence of seven witnesses. Aubin Rodier of the Skylark Crest. Well, he didn't run away, but this place is a little bit too much. Even for me! I'm looking at this place and all these eggs and stuff are super creepy. I hate it. Oh, let's get out of here. Gosh, it's so dark, I can hardly see. Oh yeah, but what about our toxicity problem? Our toxicity went down by a little bit. Somehow, naturally, maybe? But our health is still going down right now. <laughs> well, let me hang in there for a little bit more. We just have one more question mark here. Another... What is it? Monster Den? Is that the way for us to get inside? Oh, that was a bit of a... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Wait! We're back in the same place again? <laughs> Wait! What? Hold on. Yeah! What? Oh! Before I got to the question mark, somehow I got sidetracked by the actual entrance of the Skikimore Cave. Well, I suppose that beats having to fight another wave of Kikimors. I'm stuck here, though. This place is kind of hard to get out of, though, my god. Oh! Finally! Thank you. Alright, what's going on here? Duntine Hillside. Another- Oh my gosh, it's still Kiki Morse anyway! Please leave! Whoa! Holy! I saw my life flash before my eyes. Whew! Kiki Moore breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. Why do bad things happen to good people? Why do we run into three Kikimore nests in a row? Oh my gosh. But at last, we're finally done here. Oh. Are there any more little things that we should be looking around here? Like maybe this house or this house? Because these seem like places with stuff. I don't know. We have to eventually walk back to a fast travel marker anyway, so maybe I'll take a quick glance over here. Now where'd you get them cutty peepers? Cutting peepers? My swords? No, this is just one nice little rest stop here. What's going on there? The supervisor overseeing the entire vineyard. What about this one? Do you mind if I ride across your vineyard? Get up. Is that like taboo? Stick around here. I like hope not. Nothing says laugh like your bones are aching again. This house here. I can't tell if there's too much. Maybe it's just a random house? The book of lust is hard and girthy. No one can grip the damn thing. 
Ooh. No. All the houses here are locked. Okay, that's fine. We really don't have anything else to get ready for then, right? Do I just fast travel back here? All I gotta do is meet Damien at the mill? Well, before I fully commit to this, why don't I go organize my inventory a little bit? Oh yeah, I want to go back to Corvo Bianco to put down my trophy too. Mm, okay, I'll see you when I'm ready then. My beloved Corvo Bianco estate. Liam and Matilda said they would send me some wine once in a while. Just yesterday, they were fighting like cats, and today, they're in business together. <laughs> Liam and Matilda? I know, right? Not sure where the wine they would give me would be, though. But, first order of business here. We have three shelves. On this shelf, we have the fist fighting trophy. On this one, we have the golden stick of joy, which is a dowry that we got from Merlena. And now, for the most prestigious of them all. The victor's cup from the Gwent tournament. All three trophies are now in our cabinet. Yay! We can't see it very well, though. <laughs> okay. Now let me just put my relic swords and crossbow bolts in the stash, and I think we're pretty much ready to get off. Or, you know, go off. <laughs> go off to the mill. Oh, I did do one more thing before coming back to Corvo Bianco, though, and that would be... Adding sockets to Arendite. I went back to the Ophiri guy back in the Hearts of Stone expansion, and the guy was able to add about three slots for me for about 7,000 crowns, which is quite pricey, but it's probably worth it, right? So I'm gonna stick a bunch of freezing stones on here because I feel like at this point of the game, I want to see some flashy things. Hopefully, adding all those stones on it will let me see a lot of um, flashy freezing deaths. And since, you know, we got Arendite from the Lady of the Lake, freezing water, Lake, it's marginally related. <laughs> Gonna rest up here just a tad to get some bonuses. And we're pretty much ready to head off. BB, do you know where the wine Liam and Matilda are giving me are? Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. You're a great help, BB. Go take the wine and distribute it to everybody. I don't need all of it for myself. Our knights errant? They're so heroic, we had to summon a witcher to do their work. <laughs> I know. I know. The cellar you're talking about... Here. Nope, that's just the history of Corvo Bianco, which we have already read. No, I think you mean the place below, right? At the entrance here? Well, I'm not actually gonna drink the wine. I'm just wondering where you put it, that's all. Here? Ten white wolves. Wonderful, wonderful. And now we're finally ready to set off. I have a daughter, you know. She's fit Gray, to wear. yes. Oh, Scraggly, so yes. But at the tourney, he knew no equal. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the mill's actually really dang close to here, too. Sure, go on. It's a place that we can get to by foot. But we should probably ride Roach. <laughs> Don't get hurt now. Sorry. Oh. Let's go, Roach. Oh! I just realized. I made it daytime on purpose, but we have to meet Damien at the mill at night. But if I meditate, I'll lose my Slow bonuses. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Now we're ready. Warning, you are nearing a turning point in the story. After this, you will no longer be able to finish certain side quests. Save your game. 
Yes, we're fine. Where to store Not so fast, Roach. Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Captain De La Tour will give you the details. Hey, everybody. We must get to the keep quickly. Here, this way. Whoa, you guys have a lot of men here. Do we really need this many people? For what we suspect to be one woman? Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep. Restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate. Then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Mm. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. Thank you.